everybody and thank you so much for joining me for this video. I've been grinding out in ranked mode in best of threes for the past couple of hours and uh, and something kind of amazing happened and I did not turn my camera on because I'm a little superstitious but I just wanted to show you guys something real quick and I also want to cover um, how I did it also. I did hit mythic on my free to play account um, just playing the game working hard. I'm a 91% mythic rank and I actually I got out of best of ones in my last ranked video I did. I was playing mono blue, it was kind of went up and down or maybe I was playing mono white, I don't really remember. And uh, it was going up and down in best of ones and then I thought well let me try best of threes and so the deck I'm working with is mono red aggro but I added a sideboard and I'm not very good at sideboarding. Um, I mean, I'm not the best at sideboarding, but I'm good enough to hit Mythic. I guess that's that's something. That ain't nothing, you know? So, um, here's the deck, and here's how I did it. This is the standard mono red deck I just showed everybody the other day with uh, the Runaway Steamkins. I added Goblin Chain Whirlers just because I felt like that would be something to use. Although, I ended up subbing out Goblin Chain Whirler for Banefire in the event of a control deck. Because you want to have Banefire because you can't be countered, right? And that works really well with your runaway steamkins. They'll pile up a bunch of mana, and then who cares if they root snare? You just pull the mana off and you bane fire them in the face for six or seven or eight, and that's all you really need to do to finish the game off. I did craft a couple Scargan Hellkites because uh, I had the mythics. I mean, I'm down wild cards, but but I hit mythic rating, so I'm super happy about that. I'm beyond stoked. It's very cool to kind of have achieved that. So I'm going to play a game with this deck right now. I know I didn't want to turn my camera on for the last game in Diamond because I got a little paranoid. I was like, nope, the system knows when I turn on the recording program and it is going to like make me lose or I'll get some sort of crazy matchup. Uh, and there were some crazy matchups. I'm seeing Nexus of Fate for some silly reason. I thought it was banned, but maybe it's only banned in best of ones. I'm not positive. Um, but in either case, I was able to achieve mythic rating with mono red with as you saw i think it's like 14 hours until the end of the season so i'm really like burning that midnight oil but you know whatever it's kind of cool i'm 91 percent um you know so it's it's achievable this is definitely possible with uh with a budget or on you know on a free-to-play account um but now it's i mean now that it's been a little bit rewarding for me I gotta say I'm pretty hooked. I'm gonna mulligan that hand. I like to have a few early plays, especially in best of uh, threes, because you don't you don't ever know what you're gonna play against, and sometimes you want a few options, but you also don't want to tip your hand. So this is going to be, without a doubt, a thought erasure coming on turn two. He's gonna take my chain whirler for no real apparent reason. So I'm willing to bet he doesn't have any creatures. Let's see what he does. Ooh, he saves it for a counter spell, yeah. Or maybe he doesn't really have a play, so why don't we skewer him, and then we'll see what happens. Yep, so he doesn't have any counter spells. Now he might. Now he's got the two blues, so now we've got to be kind of careful with this. So, we got to draw out the counter spells at some point, right? I'm just going to assume he has counter spells, and I'm going to play the Steamkin, which this this is the right card to counter right here. So he either, he either lets it through... And he's gonna munch it with like Vraska's a Chupacabra, a cast down, mowing a craving, something like that. It's it's coming. Whatever he's got is coming. There's no way this gets to live. Mortify, sure. That too. So in this game already, what I'm thinking about my sideboard as I'm playing this game, and I realize this is the sign for being crazy, but uh, I, I think I would sub out chain whirlers for Banefire. Because just because they're uncounterable. So let's see what happens if we go with the lightning strike to the face area. If this does anything at all. He might counter this to not take the damage. Or he might counter the lava runner. Or he might let the lava runner through and then settle the wreckage. You never know. And if that's the case, if he's playing settle the wreckage, then I already know that I really want banefires in the deck so I can ramp up my mana. This goes okay. This is just straight up Esper. Hmm. Well, at some point, I'm gonna have to get a card through, and it may as well be the Chain Whirler, although they lose a lot of value without having all those creatures down, like if he doesn't have any creatures down. You know, that one damage is kind of inconsequential. 
But he's also a 3-3 attacker, so that's kind of nice. Well, he was. He would have been if he got to live. Okay. So how many Vraska's Contempts does he have left in his hand? Two more? So we can pretty much assume that these two are Vraska's Contempts and these three are Mortify, right? Cry of the Carnarium, right? So Chain Roller also survives Cry of the Carnarium, and I don't have any any bane fires in the deck right now but that's exactly what i'm going to sideboard for after this game see he might think i go more aggro but i'm actually not i'm going to go more a, a little less aggro oh boy i have to discard it anyway to the eldest reborn so i may as well play it and if i can't if i'm lucky i draw into some i draw a light up the stage and he doesn't play a blocker or resolve my Steamkin. I can attack for one, light up the stage, play two other cards, one of them being another light up the stage. Like, it's sometimes it goes off in one turn, but it's pretty rare. Tefiri. Poophead. Okay. Mmm. I just want to start with some extra damage as pressure. So if I can drop him to four... And I think maybe I can sneak away with this game. Though this game is really favoring him right now. He takes... Yeah, Chain Whirler. That's some um, Steamkin prevention right there. So I'm not going to attack with my Steamkin, but I am going to try and get some... direct damage going. And I'll sub in Scargun Hellkites. I like the haste. So I would love to play a 4-4 with haste on my turn. Or son of a gun. <laughs> What is this nonsense? <laughs> He's got Kaya's Wrath in here too. It's all the removal. Um, sometimes I like the... Uh, hmm, I like this a lot. This gets countered, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, and he's gaining life. So, alright, so... No attacks just yet. The game is not quite out of reach, but one more turn like that and it will be. His Thought Erasure is worthless. I'm not going to have anything in my hand for for the rest of the game. No, this guy. Oh, this guy. At what point do we just admit that the game is over? I think an absorb here, yeah. So now, so this game's over. So we'll concede game one. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's got game one, and what I really want is some of these bane fires. And this is the strategy I use to climb the ladder all the way up to mythic to this point. So, um, you know, I don't mind losing. Uh, and and in in best of threes in the ladder, if you win both games, you get two points toward the rating, which is really nice. So we'll take out the Chain Whirlers. They are not providing any sort of value in, against this deck, but the Banefires are. Same thing with Demanding Dragon. Won't provide any value. Phoenix, though. Actually, I, I like Phoenix better than Scargon Hellkite because the Phoenix does survive all of the removal. Um, I mean, except for if he does, like, Cry of the Carnarium and then Mortifies the Phoenix, then he'll get exiled and won't drop a token. So... You know, that's an option too, but I'm not too scared of... Actually, I'm going to take... I'm going to leave the risk factor in. Risk factor does like... Actually, I should put even uh, more risk factors like in the sideboard here too. I got room in it, so I'm not... Like I said, I'm not the best at sideboarding, but I kind of know how I want to attack certain decks. So we're going to see if this works against this type of a deck with heavy removal and more control. If he was playing more of like a Simic color control deck, then I wouldn't go with the Rekindling Phoenix, I'd go with the Scargan Hellkite. That's my logic there. I will play first. I'm on the aggro train, so that's what we're doing. Thank you. And let me see here. I know there's a right or a wrong way to do this. I'm going to go with Lava Runner over the Firebrand. For no reason. I mean, he might have like a 1-1 one, one in there, but I don't think so. Cool. And we'll do Steamkin. And the Steamkin will eat a... What's with the lag? <laughs> the Steamkin will eat a... For sure, he will get munched on by... A moment of... Moment of craving? 
perhaps he will get casted down, that's a thing, or wait, wait, wait down, whatever the enchantment is, it gives a minus two, minus two, thought erasure? He's debating, he might be able to, yeah, he's got a moment of creep, he also has a, as a, in his hand, he does have what appears to be a spell that he was thinking about casting. I'm going to go with Risk Factor here. I kind of like getting it out of my hand and into exile one way or another. And he just may let me draw and then... Um, and then Thought Erasure me. Or take the 4 damage. I like that too. Now, it's also in my graveyard. So I could play Lava Runner, Firebrand, Shock next turn. No, I can't. I could play Firebrand, Shock. And then my Lava Runner's in the graveyard. Yeah. This guy's good. He knows what he's doing. Which is unfortunate. Okay, and I want my land. I do not want to sacrifice land to the risk factor because I am running... Um, I am running Bane Fires. So with this deck, I can play this a lot more patiently. Lose some creatures, no big deal. He's at 11. If I get that 6 mana, I can get him down from 11 and nothing with Bane Fire. So I don't want to just go crazy. He's not doing Wilderness Reclamation. Okay, he's at 13. That's fine. You'll be at 13. That's good. He might be wondering why I'm not using my mountains. But it's because I want as many mountains as I can possibly get. He's killed my... He just regular killed my Steamkin. Well, he got Tefiri out first, so... This game may not go our way, and that's okay. And if you're facing this, I don't hate this, see? Um, it's all about the sideboard. You know, I, I was having a struggle. Honestly, I was with best of ones. And that's sort of like Hearthstone with magic cards and doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you get mana screwed no and then you lose a pip, you get, you know, a terrible matchup and then you lose. And and what I've discovered with these best of three, I don't have a hand, so he's just using the, uh, using the surveil. My wife says it sounds like he's brewing coffee. It's funny. So all I want to do is play what's in my hand because I know he's going to have like the Eldest Reborn or something like that coming out. That's good. He's going to be able to remove him and gain that life back, but at least it costs him some mana to do it. Yep. So I'm not too upset about that. And now if I ever do draw a Banefire, it's a little more dangerous. Or a Steamkin. Um, I'm going to hang on to this Steamkin. Because I don't want him to frost us contempted and gain more life. I don't mind him digging my hand with a, with a Thought Erasure. He's only played two of them already. So he might have a couple, but then if I do like a Steamkin into another, another combo, I'm happier about that. I've got the six mana. So I am going to go ahead and risk factor and make him make a decision here. I know some of you guys are thinking Steamkin first before Risk Factor, but without a doubt the Steamkin gets countered. So, see that? I wanted to draw the counter spells out as much as I could. Though he's drawing two cards to my one, this game's going to be a loss. I'm pretty sure. I haven't gotten a Banefire yet. I need one. Hmm. Alright, so let's see if we did enough. I doubt it. I really doubt it. Okay, here it goes. Crap. So now he's gonna kill him. Moment of craving, Vraska's contempt, cast down. One of those three, Vraska's, yeah. So he'll go down to 11. And I still would not consider this, oh, the game's over. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, rats. So he's gonna pop Teferi. I don't do this lightly. I should have Wizards Lightning to Fury just there. Oh well. Live and learn. And then my land's gonna start to go away. We got a few. Nope, that's the game. So he's won. So he's got the emblem out to Fury's emblem. We didn't draw into the cards we needed to beat a control deck with mono red. And that's okay. That kind of thing happens. I need to get that fourth Banefire in here, though, for reals. I debated taking out a Risk Factor for a creature, although he's handled my creatures perfectly with this deck. 
Um, but let's just see. Well, I'll let him. He's going to exile two of my mountains. He's got no choice but to exile my mountains. I have nothing else. Um, yeah, and Tefiri himself draws a card. So there's two mountains gone. And then he's probably got a Chemister's Insight to really frustrate me. But guys, I'm telling you, this is how I hit Mythic. I was playing this deck just like this. I would have conceded by now and just got into the next match. Um, you know, you lose. It happens.